सो ए गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द एटीन चैलेंज इन थर्टी डेज ऑफ रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट विच इज इम्प्लीमेंट द ऑथेंटिकेशन यूजिंग रियक्ट कंटेक्स ए पी आई टू मैनेज द यूजर ऑथेंटिकेशन स्टेट सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू बिल्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन स्टेट यूजिंग रियक्ट कंटेक्स ए पी आई सो दो डोंट नो अबाउट द रियक्ट कंटेक्स ए पी आई सो रियक्ट कंटेक्स ए पी आई बेसिकली इज अ फीचर इन रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट दैट प्रोवाइड्स अ वे टू पास डेटा थ्रू द कंपोनेंट ट्री विदाउट हैविंग टू पास प्रॉप्स डाउन मैनुअली so it is designed to solve the problem of prop drilling where data needs to be passed through multiple layers of the component so you can use this to manage the global state so instead of passing through the props you can make a context and create a logic inside the provider and then you can use the use context hook to fetch that logic so context creating comes with three steps first we have to create the context and then we have to create the provider the provider component is where we define the data or state that we want to share and then with the help of use context hook we can extract the logic from the context and then we can use further down to the component tree so that is something so if you are new to my channel make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos so first we have to create a context so for that we will create a file in the source directory with name auth context dot jsx and inside it we will create our context so we will write const auth context is equals to create context and we will import create context from react now we will have to make a provider so for that i will write export const auth provider and inside i will accept children then we will create one use state we will write user final state will be set user and initially it will be null now we will make one function const login arrow function of javascript it accept two things one is the username and one is the password now we will update our final state set user to username we want username only here so you can modify this part of code also if you want password then so for the simplicity i am using username here now i want another function which is log out after login user should be able to log out so in the log out i will update the set user to null now i will return the odd context provider auth context and inside we have to write provider also like this and now we have to pass the value so basically value is a kind of data you want to pass it so here i want to pass three things one is the user another one is the function login and another one is the logout so now here we have to accept the children so children are basically the components where we use our data okay so now we will write export const use auth arrow function we will return use context here we will write auth context okay so now it is easy to use uh, so we have to import use state also so our context part is completed now we will come back to our auth.jsx file and here we will implement some html so for that we will make react arrow functional component export and here i will import const user login logout from use auth okay so i am basically i have created a custom hook with the name use auth and use auth is returning a use context so i can easily use here i will just call the use auth and in the context it will call the auth context and inside auth context i have three things one is the user one is the login one is the logout so here i will create one function handle login and inside i will accept two things username and password 
it is arrow function and it will call a function which is login which is defined in the auth context so it will call the login function with username and password okay so now i will create our html basically we have to modify our html so section dot lending section div dot row dot container and inside we will write if user is available then create one div i will give a class name logout div and here i will write one h1 landing heading i will write welcome user dot username we will display the username here now i will create one button which is for logout and i will give a class name also btn btn danger and another class logout and i will write on click i will call logout function here so now if the user is present then do this and if not then i will create one component name login form and inside login form i will pass one prop which is handle login so now i will define this component above this auth so i will create so i will write login form it will accept one thing which is on login and i am destructuring the on login and now i will make two states one is for username final will be set username another one is the password final will be set password now i will write handle login arrow function i will call this function on login and i will pass username and password so now we have to return some html also so for that uh i will use this part of html control c and control b and i will remove this user things now i will write div dot landing form div and inside uh, i will create two input tags input type text placeholder will be username value will be username and on change will be a callback function which update the final state set username e dot target dot value and same i will copy this entire input and paste it below down i will write placeholder password value will be password and on change set password and uh, i will give the class name also form control margin bottom 2 now i will create one button and inside button i will write login i will give class name btn btn primary and button and i will give on click which will be handle login so after doing this if i will navigate to my local host slash auth okay so i think some error has occurred so i will go to my console use auth is not defined okay so i have to import the use auth also 
I just forgot. I will import use auth from auth context. So we have to wrap our auth provider into main.jsx file. So I will remove data provider and uh, I will import the auth provider from context. Use state is not defined. Okay, so here use state is not defined. I will import the use state. So if I will write username Ritwik and password will be test. If I will click on the login, you will see welcome Ritwik. And if I click on the logout, then I will log out from the state. So that is something we have basically created our context and then we have created our provider and then with the help of custom hook use auth we are returning the use context hook and inside use context we are passing the auth context and with the help of use auth i am calling the entire use context and in the auth.jsx file i am calling the use auth and in the use auth we have three things one is the user login and the logout which is from the context and then i am checking if the user is present then mock the user.name and if it is not then create a component which is login form and I have passed a prop which is on login and I am passing a handle login function. So inside the handle login, I am calling the login function which will from the context and it accepting username and password. So by this you can create authentication in React JavaScript using the use context and you can also modify this part of code. You can add some more fields and you can uh, enhance this logic also. You can separate the component logic like here I have combined the auth logic and the login form both. So you can separate this also. So yeah, this is it. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any doubt regarding this, so let me know in the comment section. And till then, thank you for watching.